Hi, my name's uh, Julie Johnson. I've owned Rottweilers now for the last 19 years and I'm a sometimes breeder. I predominantly work my dogs in obedience and my husband works his dogs in IPO. We have six Rottweilers all together. First and foremost, they're all family pets. Here we've got Kitty, who's six. We've got Tinkerbell, who's eight. And over there we've got Tia, who's 11. Sitting on the sofa beside me is young Elvis, who is about 10 weeks old. Um, he is fostering with us at the moment and is moving to his new home, hopefully this weekend. Rottweilers make perfect pets. They're very easy to train. They love doing anything for food or toy rewards. Although I do obedience with mine, you can just do basic good citizen training with them. They're very, very good at agility. Working trials, really the sky's the limit. They are a working breed and they are designed to do anything you want them to do. The Rottweilers are a large breed, short coated with black and tan markings. You can get them in long coated varieties, however, that is not desirable in the breed standard, but they are out there. They are between 35 and 50 kilos. The bitch is smaller than the males, but there's not huge amounts of difference between them. Traditionally, the Rottweiler had a docked tail but this practice was banned many years ago. So all Rottweilers that you see both out and about and in the show and working rings should have a full tail, which is a wonderful thing to see. <laughs>
The Rottweiler can be an only dog quite happily as long as it's given plenty of time with its human family to live with. Um, they also um, work very, very well amongst other dogs and living with other dogs in the home. Um, either or, they do need the mental stimulation, however, so if they're going to be an only dog, they do need their human counterparts to give them lots of activities and to spend lots of time with them. Initially when Rottweilers are puppies they should only have a restricted exercise um, to ensure that their bones grow healthy. Um, once they get to about a year, 18 months, you can steadily increase their exercise. An adult Rottweiler should have at least an hour's walk a day. If you're not able to do that hour's walk they should be getting a lot of training to replace that with mental stimulation. The Rottweiler can be walked off lead out and about and can be trained to walk calmly and not chase small animals or other dogs as long as this training has started from the point of puppies. I can't stress how important it is to start training your Rottweiler from the time you get them as a puppy and to continue that training until they're at least two years old. The Rottweiler is an extremely intelligent breed. You find that when training them, you normally only have to show them something once or twice and they have learnt it for life. They are very, very good at second thinking you and learning everything that you need to do, plus a bit more that perhaps you don't want them to learn. They enjoy positive training. They do not respond very well to negative training at all. So if you train them correctly, then you will have pleasure and fun going to your classes every week. My husband and I both compete in obedience and my husband competes in IPO. We have never ever put a check chain or an electric collar on any of our dogs and we never intend to. All of our dogs have been trained using positive reinforcement methods. It makes them very, very happy dogs, very keen dogs to work. And for me, that's the only way that you should be training any dog. Rottweilers generally love the water. They like nothing more than to dive into rivers and go for a swim. If out and about they find a rope swing, they're quite happily to hang off that and play with that. Love playing with balls, tuggy toys, any toys or any human interaction games that you want to perform with them. There are some myths and rumours that with a Rottweiler when you play tuggy you should never let them win. I personally feel that as long as that dog is taught a very good leave it command from day one and an exchange, then you can have a really good game of tuggy with them, not a problem at all. Unfortunately, the Rottweiler does have a very bad image with the general public and this is something if you own a Rottweiler you will encounter. This is why it is so very, very important to be able to go out and train your dog to show them as ambassadors for the breed. Um, to let them know you can take your dog anywhere, do anything with it and to dispel the bad rumours about the breed which is unfortunately unfounded. The Rottweiler doesn't actually need a lot of maintenance when it comes to grooming, obviously other than clipping the nails um, regularly once a week to ensure the tips are, are cut off um, and they shed their coats twice a year. Normally it's good if you have a marigold glove, I find you get a damp marigold glove and you brush them, you can get the loose top coat off of them and this maintains their coats nice and healthy and shiny. The Rottweiler doesn't shed dramatically. Certain varieties do have a slightly thicker and coarser coat than others, um, in which case the undercoat can come out more. Um, it's not anything too dramatic um, and with, with with brushing once a week, once twice a week, it easily dispels any unwanted fur from around the house. When you're looking for a puppy, you should always ask the breeder whether they have hip and elbow scored their dogs, which is x-ray against hip and elbow dysplasia. There is heart testing available, which also is ideal because they can carry genetic heart disease and preferably an eye test as well is always good to have. You'd also want to always see if you could see the mother, make sure that she's sociable and friendly 
and don't be afraid to ask questions of the breeder. A good breeder will be protective and will be only too happy to answer any questions you may have. The Rottweiler sadly is very prone to bone cancer and different forms of cancer. Very, very high in the breed and normally the biggest killer within the breed sadly. There are a lot of breeders out there that will only allow first time Rottweiler owners a bitch over a dog. However, I feel that there isn't much difference between the dogs and bitches within the breed. The bitches can be equally as feisty as the males. And again, it is all down to the training. This is the first time you're going to get a breed, research exactly your breeders, etc., and go with people who know what they're talking about and can advise you on their own lines. All I would say is that the males do go through a harder period of adolescence than the bitches, so you are going to get the big boy syndrome when they hit about 12 to 18 months that you don't normally see in the bitches. It's still wonderful though. The most important advice I could offer anybody who's looking for the Rottweiler is to make sure that they find a good breeder that has done very good basic socialisation with the puppies and that you carry on the socialisation from a young age. The training is paramount with this breed and the right kind of training. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there that are very hot on you dominating this breed or keeping on top of this breed from day one. And sadly, whilst this is a loving breed, they're also a breed that feels a sense of rightness. And if you do come down heavy on them, there will be one day where they'll turn around and they'll retaliate. So you need to keep up the training. You need to keep training in the right way and keep up their socialisation. And if you do all of that, then you will end up with the most fantastic family, loyal, loving pet.